So here we are, we've uh, assembled and zeroed the ion chamber to where we'd like it to be. Uh, I have the meter on the 200 millivolt range. Uh, you can see the reading does bounce around a little bit. Um, sitting here in the last 10 minutes, I've seen it go as high as 10 or 11 millivolts, um, as low as minus 2 millivolts. So I have about a 14 millivolt swing in background radiation here. Um, I have some check sources. We're going to check it with uh, some thoriated thorium lantern mantles, a thoriated TIG welding rod, 2% thoriated. Uh, I have my CDV700 set up here. Um, you can hear it clicking every now and then. That's just background radiation going through the uh, Geiger tube. Um, this is primarily an alpha emitter, this thoriated rod. So if we put it up right next to the, the Geiger tube, you can see it doesn't make a whole lot of change to the reading. Um, primarily alpha emitters, they won't penetrate metal. Um, the daughter byproducts that come off of it will. Um, there are some gamma and beta in the breakdown process. Uh, the lantern mantles, they're a little bit uh, hotter than the TIG welding rod. Um, as you can see, when I go, I'm on the uh, 0.5 millirad range. I put these on here, peg to the 0.5 millirad range. Let's go to the 5 millirad range, and you can see I read about 2, two millirads maybe, with them within direct contact with the probe. And as I get farther away, you can see the radiation that reaches the probe dies way down. Um, here I am about what, 6 inches or so. So <clears throat> let's go back to the chamber and see how we're doing. Uh, we're still sitting pretty close to zero. So let's start with the authoriated rod. In order for this to be detected, we have to put it inside the chamber. So I have a little tiny hole in the front of the chamber for inserting this. Um, you insert it into the chamber and wait about a minute. You see the ion pairs are building up in the chamber, causing the reading to go higher and higher. Um, I'm just going to sit here and watch it. So it seems to run around uh, 30 to 40 millivolts with it inserted in the chamber. And you can see when I stick it right in front of the chamber, um, as, well, let's pull it away from the chamber, let the chamber settle down. Um, takes a good 30, 40 seconds. So the chamber is pretty well settled down. You can see this is primarily alpha emitter. Uh, it's not going to penetrate the aluminum foil on the front of the chamber. Um, so the, the lantern mantles, they're a little bit hotter. They break down, they produce a lot of, a lot of daughter products in gamma and beta range that are going to penetrate this chamber. So let's just put them in front of the chamber. See if I can get them centered a little better or closer. The closer they are to the chamber, the more they're going to create uh, ions. So inside the chamber.
on all my previous experiments, I've been able to get in the 60 millivolt range um, with the thor thor thorium uh, lantern mantles. So you can see it kind of it's bouncing around a little bit as the amount of radiation that's going in and out of the chamber um, varies. It's random. Um, so let's pull the lantern mantles away. And after a good 30, 40 seconds, a minute, the uh, chamber zeroes back out. So I hope this video helps you understand the operation of your chamber. Um, there are plenty of experiments on TechLib to, to uh, use your chamber with. Um, good luck.